To demonstrate the difference between promises and observables, I'll create this promise that returns a value of dog after 100 milliseconds. And then I'll execute this promise by calling dot then and simply logging the result into console. And here we see our dog. Now using the same approach, let's create an observable where I will copy this existing setTimeout function and replace this resolve with observer.next. And again, I'll execute this observable by calling .subscribe and put the value into console. And here it is. Now, to demonstrate the first main difference between observables and promises, I'm going to duplicate this dot next call and along with dog, return cat and bird. And we see it in the console. Now, let me try to do the same thing in the existing promise. And it just doesn't work. You can't do that with promises. So, the first difference is that observables can return multiple values. Another cool thing about observables is that they behave like arrays. So here I can call dot filter and filter out any other values that are not a bird. And here we get just a bird in the console. And one more thing with observables, I can save a reference to the subscription just like that and then call unsubscribe to cancel it which cancels the observable. You can't do that with promises.